Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. Today I'm gonna share with you guys the way how I would like to style a pair of derby featuring the Adieu Paris Derby Type 103. Let's go. Derby category is kind of new to me for this past couple of years. I kind of explore more and more brand derby. If you guys know some of the brand that have good derby, also good design, that is the must for me. And the quality and the comforts on the pair of derby, then leave the comment in the comment section below because I want to know more about the brand derby that I would like to look up. But this very important thing is the design perspective on the pair of derby because to me as a designer i don't want to buy a regular basic derby you know that's just so boring when i see people wear a regular basic derby and talking about how they would like to style them that is just like yo it's just basically an office shoes that you can wear them go to work this is my third pair of derby i own two pair of derby that from marcel alone Love the chunky also on this pair of derby and also the pop thick stitch that on the black leather that they have on this. It's pretty cool contract. Black on white, white on black. That is the best color in my opinion because hey, a lot of people like to wear black clothes and black shoes. I just feel like if you wear black clothes, black shoes is cool, but it's just that is so New Yorker, you know, New Yorker, we wear all black all the time. So nothing really surprised me when I see people wear just all black. And especially in the fashion school, everybody, most of the time, I think the fashion designer wear black all the time. The black pair of derby is a must for everybody wardrobe. Other two derby that I own from Marcel, they all black, but it's different texture. This one is more like a polished leather and I actually create five different looks to go with this pair of derby. Definitely, I'm not gonna create all black or all different shade of gray on uh, the looks. That's just very important because I wear all black every single freaking single day. So I'm kind of trying to avoid that shit as much as possible. And before we get into those look, let's get a closer up into this pair of derby from Adieu Paris. So this is the close up on a pair of Adieu Paris. Up the bat, you can see the tooling is that's how they make the shoes stand out. And also the additional detail on the shoe on the upper is uh, the contrast stitching that white on black. That is pretty nice. That's why it's kind of draw me into why I buy the shoe. Um, they have a big stitch of the white pop stitch around the quarter and uh, the heel counter from uh, the lateral side to the medial side. And also that pop stitch, you can see it on the tongue edge. And also if you go into the foot bed, you can see the branding screen print in gold. That's make it even more premium. Um, everything in gold is make it more premium, right? Are you sure about that? go in until uh, the outsole on this shoe image of a person that looked down on their shoe uh, and uh, the branding uh, deal there um, the sizing on this shoe is 30a I usually wear European shoes in 30a it's converted to US sizes is six and a half somehow it's actually it fit me pretty good However, I recommend people to break the shoe down before they wear the shoes. Uh, that's going to help you a lot because I feel pain when the moment that I wear the shoe up the box and uh, walk on the street, it hurt my feet so much that actually I have two blisters on my right and my left foot. So there you have it. This is just my quick take on this pair of Adieu Paris. Um, that featuring on this video and up next I'm gonna share with you guys how I would like to style this
So there you have it. Those are my look and how the way I would like to style the pair of derby. I think this is like just a freestyling how I create this look book. You know, I'm not going to think too much about it because, you know, in New York, everybody rushing, everybody just kind of know where they want to go. When they're ready, they just put everything it's quick, you know. I And in general, I don't really like to think when I actually like wear clothes, you know, I already have what in my head and then I just gonna wrap it, you know, this piece gonna look with this piece, whatever, just create the lookbook. Style is more like a personal feeling, you know, today you feel good, you wear good clothes, today, uh, tomorrow you feel shit, like you're gonna, not gonna wear like, there's an up and down, that's gonna have balance on that, you know, and a lot of time I'm actually wearing shitty clothes, you know, I even know myself that I wear shitty clothes um, when I hang out with friends, even though I thought good, look good, right? But when you look at the mirror, you're going to be like, yo, what did I wear today? It's so ugly. And majority I wear black, so, but the thing is just like too much black on black is kind of boring. I have that feeling ever since I actually start to create a YouTube channel. Um, I start to explore farther than what I usually wear. You see better light behind that door, the black door that you usually, usually be in. If you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can wait to share with you guys. I'm out.